Hey y'all, I'm coming today with R&B Divas um, LA Reunion Part 2. Okay y'all, I'm just going to get into it. I'm not going to make this long. Okay, it starts pretty much off with where it ended. You know, I'm going to skip around some stuff. Um, pretty much, Cassette Michelle said that the reason that she left um, was because of Stacy. I mean, Ray Charles could have saw that. We all knew that. Um... You know, I mean, that was very evident. And honestly, I don't blame her. Now, just to skip, she did say that she's about 75% committed to possibly coming back. Okay. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a re the reoccurring theme from last, you know, part one. Y'all, is it me? Or it just seems like no matter what... Shantae Moore does, she's wrong in the eyes of um, Lil Mo, Stacy, and Leela. Like, but more Lil Mo and Stacy than Leela. Okay. Because they were saying, they were asking Shantae, you know, why didn't she want to go to the trip? Which, I mean, she said in the episode, she said she didn't want to go when she knew people was going to be petty. She knew people was going to be mean and, and da, 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 like, uh, y'all, that's my thing. Y'all, my, y'all know my hair is always twisted. So the back is pulled back in the ponytail and this is twisted. But y'all, that's my thing. Now, in real life, y'all, this is bothering me for some reason. But yeah, that's better. In real life, if you know, okay. This is a perfect example. A friend of mine on Facebook last night, y'all, her and a girl that she thought was a friend, like, they went back and forth last night on Facebook, and it got really bad. I'm talking about, like, I need some popcorn for this shit here, bad. And the girl who I know, you know, she was like, but me and you talking about the other girl, she was like, but me and you been quote unquote cool, cool for years. And she was like, I never knew you didn't like me. I never, I honestly thought you was my friend. And she was like, um, she was like pretty much like, well, if I know a person, if I don't, she said, if I don't, um, if I don't mess with it, she said F with if I don't F with a person, then, you know, if I know I don't F with you, with a female, I'm not going to be all up in your face. Like, no, I'm not going to be going places with you, with you, excuse me, doing stuff with you, um, you know, doing stuff with your kids. And I know I don't like you and you don't like me. And y'all, it's a, that's best real life. So, if you, Shantae Moore... Why would she go somewhere with them? Y'all something in my eye. Why would she go somewhere with them when pretty much she know they don't like her? Like, come on, y'all. I mean, let's. I mean, I understand it's a show, but it's supposed to be a reality show, so it's supposed to be based off of real life. And in real life, if you know some females not checking for you, you know they don't like you. You don't really care for them. Why the hell y'all gonna sit up and coon by damn y'all? Y'all not. Come on, let's just be real. So. I wasn't, you know, I was honestly with her when she said, no, I, you know, I, I don't want to go. But then they just seemed to jump down her throat. Then um, Stacy was saying, I wrote it down, but I guess I didn't write all of it down. Um, there was asking Shantae, like, did she feel like people was hating on her show or whatever? And she was like, yeah. And she was like, well, Stacy said, I feel like it's fake. And just like um, when the Williams asked Stacy, she was like, well, if you felt like it was so fake, why did you even come in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that's shady in itself. If you saying, I don't fuck with her, she don't fuck with me, why even come? You could have just stayed your ass home. And then Stacy was like, well, she didn't come to my show. Y'all, what show? Like seriously, Stacy gets on stage and sings cover songs. 
then to me honestly it looked like it was more of like an open mic night like y'all she making it out to be like she is playing Madison, Madison Square Garden or something like Stacey, baby, nobody missed your show. You didn't have a show. This was not, y'all, correct me if I'm wrong. I know I'm not in the music business or nothing. But to me, when someone has a show, it's more or less them. It's not them and whoever the hell else want to get up on stage and sing. Like, that's not considered to be her show. And if you go back and watch the episode, like I said, I, I binge watch this. You know, I don't I don't watch it every week. I once it's by over, then I I take like a week and I watch like two episodes a day to to you know to catch up. So I but I you know so I do watch all the episodes. But if you actually go back and you watch the episode, even the people, the people in the audience kind of looking like you know. I mean, they they looking like she. I just really want to thank and blah blah whoop, whoop and I, and everybody's looking like girl, you doing all this for this ain't no show. Like y'all, I can't. So when she said tonight on the reunion, well, um, Shantae Moore missed my show, so yeah, you know. Then Stacy, why is it like y'all? Is it me? But why does it seem like this woman is so obsessed? To, to me, honestly, I feel like you can tell that it's a lot of jealousy from Stacy and Lil Mo. I'm just going to be real. It's jealousy, you know. But I feel like, you know, y'all my back itching. I feel like with Stacy, it's jealousy in the fact that you always have to bring up something about Shantae Moore's marriage or uh her ex-husband or whatever honey what is that of you let me tell y'all something i have guys that i have dated i mean yeah i'm happily married now but i don't sit up and worry about who if somebody done did my ex wrong or if i feel like somebody done <sighs> i mean and i understand that shantae's you know ex is not stacy's ex but why <sighs> i mean honestly why are you so worried about another man? Like, you know, this particular man. Were y'all sleeping together or something? I mean, did you want him or something? I mean, really, like, what is it? Also, y'all, you can tell who, you can really tell that people not really here for Stacey. <laughs> because I was, you know, I was just looking on Instagram because I was really curious because so many reviews from um, the part one of the reunion were just people was just really going in which was justified and you know people was talking about that there is a petition to get um stacy off of the show some people asking that lamo get off but mainly stacy and y'all i said you know what i'm gonna go and i'm gonna um i'm just gonna look at people's instagrams to see you know what and what Y'all, why Stacey Instagram is blocked, private, you cannot see it unless you subscribe to her. Like, I'm sorry, but the average celebrity, their Instagram is not blocked. Their Instagram is pretty much public. You know, the average celebrity. So if you want to be a celebrity, I say, yeah, Stacey, you doing all that because you know people not really checking for you like that. And people are, you know, really giving you the business. So that, you know, I found it out after I had already did my video. So yeah, that was hilarious to me. Now, yeah, why does it seem like everything, it just seems to me like they overlook every, and I understand, y'all, before I say it, I understand she's, you know, she was going through and all this stuff. Um, Michelle, I understand Michelle was going through and, and whatnot, but to me, it just seems like that sofa, Leela, uh, Lil Mo, and Stacy. It just seems like Misha Lay cannot come at all. She cannot show up. Hell, she cannot. I feel like hell, Misha Lay could not film one scene in the whole season and showed up to the damn 
reunion show and they would have been fine with that over um Shantae missing 10 minutes or something like it like seriously y'all you could really see it like they were saying um they said something about well she didn't she was late to a few things and she didn't want to film a few things are you serious because even Wendy Williams was like it was really sad the fact that they couldn't come together to do the project for cancer and she asked Shantae Moore, she was like, well, and Shantae was like, yeah, I felt like I, in the end, I really feel like, you know, it, you know, it would have been better if we could have at least come together for that. Why is they over there rolling their eyes and Kiki and all this his shit? Like, I mean, the woman is just saying like, yeah, you know, it would have been better if we could have did something, you know, better, you know what I'm saying? Like did something together that would have been better. But they want to sit over there and, well, she didn't do this and she didn't do that. How many, how many things just dealing with that record alone? Just dealing with that. How many things did Michelle A miss? Yeah, Michelle A, y'all didn't even know what the hell she was going to say. She didn't know what she was going to say up to two, I'm, I'm being funny, but two seconds before the damn performance. Yeah, y'all was willing to let her get up there on stage with, stage with y'all and say put your purple ribbons up or put your lighters up or whatever she was saying. Yeah, Shantae, just because she didn't want to go out of town with y'all petty asses, y'all said she couldn't be like, y'all, it was, ugh. Now, I mean, seriously, it's, it's just, to me, it just seems like every single thing that Shantae did or did not do was just blown completely out of proportion. They nitpicked. Now, Chris and Michelle. Now, y'all, at this point, it is just speculation because she did not say who. But y'all know what? I slick, honestly believe that I feel like maybe it's me. But for whatever reason, I feel like Lil Mo probably told her that. Because as soon as she was like, she was like, uh-uh, who? Because I know I did, and I know I did. And Chrisette was like, well, no, because I know they're just going to deny it. Like, I honestly feel like if it was Shantae, I feel like Shantae would have said I did it. Because at this point, it's evident that, you know, Stacey was pretty much brought on the show to try to come for Shantae, to try to come for uh, Michelle A. And y'all, is it me? But nothing Stacy does seems genuine to me. Like when she was when Lil Mo was talking about trying to kill herself, which I'm gonna get to that. Stacy was crying. That didn't seem genuine to me. When she was talking about her worst show, her worst moment on the show was them saying she got slapped by Whitney Houston. That didn't seem genuine to me. Um, like. To me, it's almost like she has crocodile tears. Like nothing she does seems genuine to me. I'm just being honest. Um, why did Stacy like? Why does why did she feel the need to put herself in, but in like, for instance, they was um, talking to Lil Mo and she was saying that um, her father is a bishop because they were talking about prayer. Which I felt like that was real, that was just disrespectful how she was talking to um, Brave when she was talking about, but well, we don't have to stop and pray for everything and blase. Y'all, Brave better than me because I would have cussed her all the damn way out because first of all, nobody, nobody walking this earth is ever going to try to tell me when the fuck I can and cannot pray. Like, I don't care what's going on. Because just like Brave said, prayer changes things. And if you if and if you doing something honestly, like, y'all don't try to be too religious, you know, on here, but if you doing something honestly from the heart, who the hell is this whole to tell you you can't damn pray like, ooh, y'all, I can't. Like Stacy just comes just, just that alone. Makes her look like just an evil person to me. For you to for you to fix your face to tell somebody a grown ass person 
you can't uh, -uh, you, uh, uh we don't need to pray and yeah like i said brave better than me because i would have had to get her together because that's disrespectful you can't tell somebody when they can pray and plus why like, just like brave said hey y'all is supposed to be doing trying to work together for a benefit type record something that's positive something that's bigger than all of y'all way bigger than stacy broke ass but bigger than all of y'all in general but y'all want to be petty and fight and fuss and all this that damn a third okay y'all want to do all of that so why you know to try to bring focus back to redirect everything to calm the situation down let's just pray let's pray on this and say lord help us get through whatever whatever evil spirit is in the midst of this thing let it get on that what's wrong with that and like Bray said once she prayed it was things got more productive so for stacy to come out her face and say well i mean you just you can't pray away every situation actually that's not true boo if you a person of god you know you can pray through any damn thing so Y'all, I'm, I'm just gonna move on because, yeah, she, yeah, that, that, that made me mad. Like, seriously. Um, okay, y'all. On a lighter note, before I get on something else serious, you know how they were showing everybody's little CD cover and all this and stuff? Y'all, why Stacey's CD look like she done printed the damn CD cover um, at home in her basement on her? old inkjet printer or something like that damn cd case the cover that, that mess look bootleg as hell was it just me because it really looked bootleg to me <laughs> i was like i mean misha lay's little single cover it didn't have a picture it was just you know more abstract which is fine but stacy girl hmm, you should have just didn't even get them that just you know, just let them play the song or whatever, because that just looked extra bootleg. Okay, then they talked about Lil Mo trying to kill herself, which you know, y'all. I'm sorry to say this, but you, but I said it. I kept saying to myself, like you could tell that this woman is not happy. You could tell that she's not being genuine. She's putting up a front because you could tell it, and she's pretty much she pretty much confirmed it tonight. Because to try to kill yourself, you really have to be going through. And I find it very ironic. I'm sorry, but I find it very, very, very ironic how she has been going in so hard on Misha Lay. I respect Misha Lay for at least acknowledging and being open about her damn struggles. But this this here happened all the way last um last reunion and we didn't know anything about it until tonight you know i mean so i feel for little mo but at the same time it's just like shantae said i mean at the end of the day you cannot nitpick and beat a person down like kick a person when they are actually down but then expect them to turn around and just forget everything you just did to them and wholeheartedly you know, embrace you when you're going through. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done. You know, because like, I mean, because that'll make me a hypocrite. Because like I just said, you can pray through anything. So you could forgive somebody and still be there for them. But, I mean, y'all, it's almost like with Lil Mo, it's, it's almost like, well, I feel for her. Um, I'm really surprised. I am. Even though I, I saw that, you know, you could tell she was going through something. I wouldn't think she would be that far, you know, to where she's actually taking stuff to try to kill herself. Y'all, I skipped over this. But since I'm talking about Lamo, now I know I binge watch the um, episodes. But y'all, I was lost with the whole proposal thing. Yeah, I didn't get that. Because they was already married. And... If y'all already married and you have this, I mean, you have, you falling out like this is just unexpected. Y'all been together for all these years and he all of a sudden proposed, like, I, I'm sorry, y'all. That's just me. I just didn't understand such a dramatic reaction. I saw people's videos saying it was sweet. It was cute. But y'all, it was confusing to me. Um, 
to have such a dramatic reaction when you are already married. Yeah. And this wasn't like you're married and you want to renew your vows and the person just pops that question out. You know, hey, will you marry me again? Like, no, y'all hadn't even been married that long. So, y'all, that's just my little thoughts. Um, at this point, last thing, Wendy Williams asks, who's coming back? Who hand goes up first? Stacy. Because she knows she ain't got shit else. I, for one, hope she don't come back. Seriously, I really hope she don't come back. Um, If she do, like I said, I binge watch anyway. So, it really won't make me no damn never mind not to watch it. Because I don't want to watch her. Um, I don't. And I feel like it's really, really pitiful. I feel like the show has gone down so much because it's not it's getting to be where honestly this season, if no if nothing else proved it, this season proved that they need a new direction for this show because they, they have gotten away from what it's supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about music. It's supposed to be about women who make music and who, you know, they are all divas because they make good music. It's not about that anymore. Because if it was, they would have been able to set all the pettiness, the, the silliness, the, oh, we, since you didn't want to come out of town with us, you can't be on the record, which is just petty as hell. That's high school. They would have been able to set all of that to the side and said, hey, you know, this is what we do. We are divas. We are musicians. This is what we do. We are going to get this song together and it's going to be great and it's going to raise money for cancer. It's about the music. If that's what this show is about. But like I said, this season, the fact that they couldn't even do that, it proves that that's not what the show is about anymore. And I, and I know I'm not the only person that feels that way. A lot of people feel that way. Uh, like I said, if you go to Instagram, ugh, yeah, people are really going in. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, so, last impressions of R&B Divas, LA season three, I, I would hope that if there is a season four, um, I really hope Stacy is not on there, I hope, um, Chrisette is brave, honestly, I'm on the fence at this point, I honestly don't feel like brave should be on the show because, her uh, honestly, her and Stacy have they have no standing to be on the show. They have really no like real credentials to be on the show. They don't have albums. They don't have any of that like albums that somebody actually know about. Cause like I said, that song that they showed when they first introduced Brave, y'all even though it was with Rick Ross, I had never heard of that. Never heard of that group. So come on, let's quit playing. But y'all, that's my thoughts. Um, I do thank y'all for watching the episode of Catfish Night. I'm not going to do the review. It was crazy. I didn't, y'all, I didn't understand it. It was some old mental health stuff. So, yeah, I tried not, I gave up. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. Um, so we will be doing uh, Mary Mary. Um, yeah. But y'all, as always, I do thank y'all for watching. If you subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. Um, if you don't and you just watch the video, thank you very much. Um, I do videos strictly because I like doing them. Um, Friday, hopefully, because I keep trying to tell my husband to go ahead and order pre-order our tickets. Friday, hopefully, we'll be going to see um, the Avengers, Age of Ultron, and I will do well, what's on my face. Saturday, we are going to a fight party, um, and I will do. Probably a what's on my face, what I'm wearing to the party, and that good stuff. But until all of that, y'all, I do thank y'all for watching.